Pokemon is seeing a huge rise in popularity and has brought many new people to the hobby, especially within the TCG community. This, along with a number of other factors during 2020, has made the collector's market a jungle to sift through. Finding sealed product has become increasingly difficult and causing prices of sealed and single cards to rise to an all-time high. With over 100 Pokemon card sets to collect, I challenged myself to complete an older set from scratch but keeping within a budget. This is to prove that any collector can have a fully completed set to show off and be proud of without breaking the bank. Now we embark on a new journey once again to complete another set in Season 2 of Pokemon Budget Challenge. Hey guys and welcome to the fifth and final episode of Pokemon Budget Challenge. I cannot believe we're at this stage already. This is absolutely amazing and it's been an incredible journey with this collection. Thank you all so much for being part of my budget challenge of season two. I've had so much fun. If you're new to the channel and have no idea what I'm up to, I'll pop in the i button, the playlist for Pokemon Budget Challenge so you can go and check out season one and the rest of season two and how we got to the stage we are today. So you guys have been following me all the way from episode one, some of you from season one especially. So thank you so much for following me on my budget challenge journey. I don't intend to end it yet, so there'll be some news at the end of today's episode. So stay tuned. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. We have so much fun here. So please subscribe to the channel because we've got not only budget challenge, we have bank it or buzz. There's lots of steel channels. So welcome to the Eevee family. So you guys are here to see how we've done in finishing black and white emerging powers and to be honest I've had an absolute blast with the set and I cannot wait to show you the cards. After we do the card showcase I will then do the full binder showcase so you can see all the cards in order to finish off today's season. So let's get into it guys, let's see those last few cards for the collection. And here they are guys, the last six cards and I'm super excited to show you. These two are two on the end are the two main chase cards so we're gonna save those to the, to the last reveal so the last four guys let's check them out oh my gosh that is a beautiful holographic look at that shine I love when it, they used to do holographic cards like this they don't do them anymore they need to bring them back in my opinion but Gothitelle holographic I had the non holo in a couple of episodes ago which I got hold of and it just finished off that Gotrita Evo line completely well. But let me in the comments, what do you think of that holographic guide? I absolutely love it. Absolute smashing. So, next card. It is an Exadrill. It's one of John's favorite Pokemon, and it is a cool looking dude. And because in Black and White series is a newer set, there is two of every Pokemon, so we haven't just got one. We've got two. We've got a holographic one there. And we've got a reverse. So like I said, the reverses can sometimes be cheaper than holographics, which is why I picked up a reverse for this one and a holo for this one especially. But let's just have a look at the holographic line. That is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And you've got like the little fighting emblems in the reverse. That is some cool executive cards there and cannot wait to pop them in the binder. Absolutely awesome. And finish off with the four missing rares, we've got Bravery, again, that awesome holographic style. It was nice to see Bravery, like obviously this is where Bravery first began. I feel like it's a very underappreciated, underrated Pokemon, but I think it's pretty awesome. because I do love my bird type Pokemon, especially. There we go. So let me know in the comment guys, which of these four cards is your favorite? I'd love to know, but we haven't finished there. We still got the two Final cards of the collection. So let's see them. So, here we are. The last two cards. Are you guys ready to see the final two cards of Emerging Powers? Let's see the first one. Wow. It is Thunderous, the electric Pokemon. And you can see all the lightning behind it, the design. It is absolutely gorgeous. They, obviously there's no texture with these cards because black and white didn't have textures until the very end sets with legendary treasures where the gold cards were textured but this is how the originals used to be. But Thunderous is looking absolutely 
gorgeous. It's so nice. It's in beautiful condition. And I didn't just get Thunderous on his own. Of course, I got the Tornadus. There we go, guys. The final two cards. I am so excited. They're going to finish off the set and look beautiful in the binder. Absolutely beautiful because it's a double cut it's a colorless it's a normal type but obviously you had the wind effect behind it it's a, such a shame they did not put landris in set because having all three of these at the end of the collection would have looked beautiful but landris did come out as a promo so what i might do with the money saved from this budget challenge which i'll tell you at the end i might put towards a landris in future just to finish off this trio because i feel like this is not a full Trio appreciation without Landris, but he wasn't part of the collection. But there we have it, guys. The final two cards and the end of collecting black and white emerging powers. It has been an absolutely amazing road. I'll tell you what I paid for all these cards in two ticks, but let's get them in the binder. And there you have it guys, the full binder completed. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy to finally got to this moment with Budget Challenge. This is why I started Budget Challenge, to give myself this little task of completing sets I didn't have an opportunity to collect earlier on, many years ago. But it's absolutely been incredible. I cannot believe we've done it. And we started back in 28th of February. It is now the 16th of April. So it has taken a couple of months, but it's not been too shabby, like less than two months to complete the set. And also, I mentioned at the start in episode one, how much booster packs were going for at the beginning of the challenge, which is what set the budget in total. I have now recently checked and had an update that these those sealed packs are going for so much more. So if we try to complete the set through opening up a sealed product, we would be spending so much more than originally at the end of February. So this is why the budget challenge was created so that I could prove to you guys that you can collect cards without breaking the bank. So what did I spend on those last six cards? In total, I spent 18 pounds and 83 pence. So that was for all six of them, like free postage, happy days and we'll add that to the final total which means our grand total of season two is a total of 54 pounds and 20 pence so our original budget was 150 deduct that money that's a grand saving of 90 
five pounds and 80 pence. That's a lot of money saved. And I just proves that you can do it, guys. And I hope this series has been really helpful in giving you guys tips on how to complete sets that even came out nearly 10 years ago. So guys, as promised, what is going to be happening in season three? Now I got asked by some of you guys, why don't I try a newer set from scratch? So coming a little bit forward in time, not too far forward, because I'm collecting quite a few of the Sword and Shield sets currently, I'm talking about Sun and Moon era. And the set I'm gonna be collecting from scratch is Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. And it's going to be such an awesome one. There's some amazing cards in there. But I'm not going to give too much away. If you want to see it, you can go and check out Poker Collector. But coming soon to the channel, Season 3 of Pokemon Budget Challenge is going to be collecting Crimson Invasion from scratch. And the best part is, there's some other features coming. But I'm not going to give it all away. So there we have it. The end of Season 2 Budget Challenge. It's been an amazing ride. I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys have as well. Leave a comment with what you thought of season two, and I cannot wait to begin season three. Coming soon to the channel, guys, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. So thanks everyone's support, and I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye!